Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the subject RDBMS subject. Previously, I have done a video regarding this, but uh, many of the students have not uh, that much having that much clarity in the sound. So again, I am doing this video for the clarity purpose. So paper presentation tips and tricks and quick revision we will discuss in this video about the rdbms subject okay so basically students rdbms is only for bcom computer application students that do only for 50 marks so another 50 marks will be allotted by your college faculty by conducting practicals record writing etc so rdbms is of 50 marks question paper as well as the only for computer application students of bcom if you are pursuing your semester 3 in Rusmania University, so whatever the tips and tricks I am discussing in this video will be helpful to you all. In this video, whatever the questions you need to learn and how you should present the answers in the answer booklet, everything we will discuss in this video, students. Okay. So RDBMS is a 50 marks question paper. Total 5 units you will have in this subject. So 50 marks is for question paper and total 5 units you will have in part A. Question paper pattern will be in part A. They will give 8 questions. You need to attempt 5 questions. Each carries 2 marks. So 5 into 2, 10 marks is consisting of part A. And part B, 5 questions we will, they will ask. 5 questions you need to attempt. Each carries 8 marks. So 5 8 is a 40 marks. So 9th question is from 1st unit. 10th question is from 2nd unit, 11th question will come from 3rd unit, 12th question will come from 4th unit, 13th question will come from 5th unit. In each question you will have internal choice. So any one option you need to attempt it. So this is about the question paper pattern. So now we will discuss about the first unit in RDBMS. Okay. So in this unit students, what are the topics you need to learn? The first important topic is three level architecture three level architecture is an important question as well as the damn sure question as well as the most important and repeated question for the final examinations so in three level architecture what is mean by three level architecture you will have three levels in database physical level logical level and uh, uh, display level you will have you need to draw the diagram you need to explain each level. Physical level means what? Display level means what? Logical level means what? Like this, you need to display the answer with a diagram in the examination hall. Okay. The second important question in first unit is database administrator, roles and functions of DBA. Who is mean by who is mean by database administration? So who is handling the data? Who is handling the database is known as database administration administrator they will ask two marks first shot and definitely they can ask one long question from this topic who is database administration who is handling the database he is known as database administrator and what are his roles and what are his functions is the important question for long so students in rdpms subject no need to learn any short questions if you are perfect with the long questions then definitely you can easily attempt short questions also no need to learn separate short questions for the okay part a and the third important question is er model er model you will have two types students one is college database and another is uh, student database they will ask what is mean by er model explain with suitable diagrams like this they will ask whether you can def define the er model what is mean by ER model like this you need to define and after that you need to explain any one either it may be a student database or it may be a college database you should explain or else sometimes they will ask specifically what is mean by ER model explain college database then you need to explain about the college database so in first unit three level architecture dba roles and functions er model if you are learning this three units one definite long question you can attempt which consists of eight marks and you can attempt definitely one short questions like that what is mean by uh, database what is mean by dba what is mean by er model like this they will ask for two marks for two marks 
five to six sentences is enough five to six lines is enough for long one and a half or two sites is enough not two pages two sites is enough so in unit number one you are scoring 10 marks if you are learning this three units okay so if you learn this three units you can score 10 marks the passing marks is 18 out of 50 for 50 marks question paper passing marks is 18 if you are learning these three questions you are attempting 10 marks of weightage right so like this you need to make analysis so now we will discuss about this second unit what are the things you need to learn in second unit students okay so rdbms basically is an easy subject and the small subject no need to worry about that okay in second unit i will tell only one topic that is normalization normalization in this normalization you will have four types first normal form second normal form third normal form bcnf boy scout normal form in our channel i have explained this whole topic explanation video if you want to listen that video you can ma so if you are learning this concept definitely this question only will come in second unit in second unit for long 10th question 10th question A will come from normalization whether they may ask 1NF, 2NF, 3NF or BCNF or else they may ask all things to explain or to, to write the answers. If you are perfecting with normalization concept, no need to learn anything. If you are learning one normalization concept, you are attempting one long question which consists of 8 marks and one short question, definite short question, they will ask what is mean by normalization. What is mean by normal form? What is mean by normalization? Normalization is a process of uh, making the table in a standard form to reduce the data redundancy, data integrity, to improve the data integrity, data consistency like that. So in this, if you are learning this concept, only one question you are learning, you can attempt 10 marks of the weightage in question paper. So in first unit, the three questions. In second unit normalization, by learning these four questions, you are attempting 20 marks weightage of the question paper. So, if you follow my tips, you can easily score O grade in this subject. Okay. So, from unit number three, you, total you are having three concepts SQL commands, joins concept, views concept. If you are perfect with SQL command, no need to learn joins concept, no need to learn views concept. Definitely one SQL command question will ask in the examination. In SQL commands, you will have four or five types. DCL commands, TCL commands, DQL commands, DDL commands, like this type of commands you will have. Like insert, update, delete, restore, alter, while we should alter the table, while we should alter the data data what type of command we should use in sql sql means structured query language in this these are all the types okay ddl commands dml commands so in dcl insert update delete commands will be there in tcl alter command will be there like this type of things if you are learning means no need to learn joins concept no need to learn views concept definitely you can attempt one long question and one short question in short question what they will ask what is mean by sql commands what is mean by dql commands what is mean by joins concept like this only they will ask so if you are perfect with the sql commands you are attempting 10 marks for sure okay so three level architecture normalization sql commands dba and er model if you are learning these five questions you are attempting 30 marks of the weightage in the question paper only five questions 30 marks now we will discuss about the fourth unit so if you want only passing marks learn these five questions you can easily get a grade in this subject okay so from fourth unit i will have given database security and integrity and back cover backup techniques backup techniques and deadlock and its preventions these are two are related to one answer only what is mean by database security how we can secure the database by giving the pins and password you can secure the database 
and what is mean by integrity integrity means correctness whatever the data we want that only we should store in the in mobile phone whatever the videos and photos and the uh, things contacts whatever we want only that only we will store and what are things we will not store that is called integrity what is mean by backup techniques why we should back up the database okay so this type of things you are learning in this fourth unit and the another thing is deadlock what is mean by deadlock and what are the various uh, prevention techniques you are having in deadlock if you are learning these two questions definitely one question you will attempt for eight marks and one question will come from two marks total 10 marks you are attempting okay so this is about the fourth unit fourth unit only two questions you need to learn okay so now we will discuss about the fifth unit students the last unit of rdbms subject in this also i have given only two questions ddbms what is mean by ddbms distributed database management system distributed database management system advantages and disadvantages of ddbms is an important question the another important question is client server architecture this is an another important question client server architecture ddbms if you are learning this two questions is enough for 15 definitely one long question which consists of eight marks and one short question which consists of two marks total 10 marks you will attempt if you are learning these two questions data fragmentation is not important for long data fragmentation data segmentation this type of questions will ask for two marks not for long okay if you are learning this two question definitely one question will be there in the examination question paper okay so quick revision three level architecture dba er model from first unit normalization is from second unit sql commands is from third unit deadlock and its prevention database integrity security and back coverage recovery is from fourth unit and fifth unit ddbms and client server architecture only six to seven questions i have given students if you are perfect with these six to seven questions definitely you can score o great you will attempt 50 marks and you are having your only two hours of time duration in this two hours only you need to attempt one law five long and five short questions so now we will discuss about the how you should present your answers in the answer booklet so how much your learning is not important how much you are putting it on the question paper answer booklet is important so some students will learn nicely but they will fail in presenting the answers in the answer booklet students okay so this is your booklet right so first you need to start part b so if you are starting part b write like this part b here one draw one line here you start question number and the ninth question you are attempting ninth a you are attempting like this what they have asked what is mean by dba they have asked you should write like this they dba like this you need to write dba stands for database administration where the database administrator will handle the database for the security purpose and if you are there asking the roles give one line after the definition give one space and here you write scope of dba or functions of dba like this you need to keep the side headings and you need to write the answers this is the one side and another side that two sides you need to minimum two sides you need to answer the answers okay so not less than two and for short questions for two marks here you are starting means five to six lines is enough not to some students will uh, write lengthy lengthy answers for two marks okay so no need to uh, do like that so if you are writing the whole page also you can only allow two marks only not 12 marks okay so try to write five to six and that much time you will not at all have students so in this two hours time duration only five long as well as the five short you need to attempt it okay and uh, another thing is uh, how much your writing is important and try to write the extra questions also if you don't know the question also try to attempt it okay if you will attempt it means minimum two or three marks will be given for the long and for short minimum one mark or half mark will be allotted so 
so that's why if you don't know the question also try to attempt it some or the other how much you have understood that is only you should put put it in the answer booklet okay it's a generalized subject ma no need to worry about it if you learn this long questions no need to learn any short questions and in telegram group i have uploaded the previous year question papers of rdbms you go and check out that uh, pdf then you will easily get to know whether whatever the questions i have given whether that is repeated or not you will get to know okay so this is all about the video i hope that in this video the voice clarity is good and the video clarity is also good so i'm trying my level best to improve the video and the audio clarity students so and uh, this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and friends group okay so this video will be useful for them also and um, if you think that this video is worthy then only like share and subscribe no need to having any forcefulment for this so if you're having any doubts related to this video or related to the subject or any subject you please comment me in the comment section and the cost accounting business statistics everything i have uploaded the paper presentation and the important questions damn sure questions everything i have uploaded in our channel so i'll try to check out that and finally once again all the very best for your preparation as well as the examination students so see you all in next video. Bye-bye.